Hi, I'm Arundhati, but most of my students call me Aru. I'm a yoga and wellness educator and I've been teaching for over a decade. I'm so excited that you want to start yoga. I have no doubt you love it, but here are three things you must know before you start your yoga journey. A little yoga goes a long way. The best part of yoga is a little yoga can go a long way. You don't need to make tremendous shifts in your lifestyle to be able to do yoga. In fact, my best advice for people like you who are just starting off is to do less but to do it consistently. So shed the idea that you have to wake up and do yoga at 6 a.m. five days a week. In fact, doing it just once a week is plenty. Start slow and see how easy it is to integrate yoga into your lifestyle. You don't need to be flexible or good at doing yoga. I wish I could tell you how many times I've been asked this question way too often. Let me tell you once and for all, you do not need to be able to touch your toes or bend easily to start yoga. While yes, doing yoga consistently over time, you become stronger, flexible and calmer. You don't start there on day one. Okay. And a little secret, most people can't touch their toes. So it's not just you. It really does get better with practice. Do you think you could master the violin in just a few hours? Probably not, right? Unless you're a prodigy. It's the same with yoga. Yoga is a skill that gets better with practice. So the more you do it, the easier it gets. And when you're new, it takes a little more time to understand what to do and how to do it. But with consistent practice, it becomes effortless and you'll enjoy it in no time. So I hope you're ready to begin your yoga journey. I'll be back in your inbox every few weeks with mini yoga videos, tips and tricks to help you integrate yoga into your life. If you have any questions, feel free to find us on Facebook or Instagram. And next in my next video, I'll be talking about what to expect from your first yoga class. Until next time, stay healthy. Bye.